Hey guys, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing? I know it's been a minute over here since I vlogged. Trust me, I know. Just went to the store, like I said, picked up a few items. And when I go home, I'll do a haul over here on this channel. I didn't do a walkthrough because it was a lot of people in that store. It was hot. It is already like 94 degrees. And that's just without the humidity. So it's it's hot today. Like it is hot, hot, hot here uh, in um in Mississippi. And y'all know I'm on the beach part. I'm on the in the south. Like I'm on the water part. Can't get any more further south in Mississippi than where I live. And it is hot. It's humid. It's hot. It's miserable right now. Hey guys what's going on you all welcome back i know it's been a couple of days which y'all know things been crazy it's been crazy busy here with everybody moving and whatnot but y'all will see that y'all will see a grocery haul and everything but first business is business i was reached out by julia bags and i will have all of their links in the description box below instagram facebook they what's up app everything that's going to send you directly to it if y'all follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, y'all already seen this bag and y'all already asking me, am I going to have a discount code? And yes, I am. I will have discount codes for you guys. Everything, when I tell y'all it's going to be linked in the description box, everything is going to be linked and it'll send you right over there. They got some new arrivals and I like their new arrivals. If you guys know me, y'all know I am not the typical girly girl. I'm not one of those pink, purple type. Females, I'm just not. I like everything simple and easy. But when I seen this bag, I fell in love. I did. I fell in love. It, it was something about it that screamed out to me. And so I got this bag. So, of course, I already did the unboxing. So I will insert it right here so y'all can see exactly how it came. So if y'all not follow me, follow me on both of those. Because you see some stuff that you always don't see over here. But this is the box that it came in, of course. And inside, it's just like your basic box. Minus the purse. You get your Louis Vuitton stuff. That's for me. What all is my detail. You get your card. This was inside of that bag. I just did not put it back in there. It was a dust bag that it comes in. And then you give back if you decide to give it away as a gift. And at first I was. At first I when they contacted me. I was like, yeah, I'll give this to my daughter to live. She'll love this bag and she's moving. You know, they'll be getting married and all of this stuff. So, But then I was seeing this bag and I was like, eh, this is mine. This is for mama. This is mama's. Here is the bag. Out the box for me, right? For me. Y'all know me. So this out the box, right? Definitely. I'm not that pink kind of girl. Choice to either tote this in your hand or, of course, put your strap on. The strap is the basic strap. Or use your strap. It's the basic strap. And I am going to put this back in the plastic because I will not be toting this anytime soon. I have seen some people who did reviews on this. And they were saying that sometimes they stuff be kind of cheaply made. And it'll be real loose. But this is not. It's... It's actually a really good, it's made really well. And I've mm -hmm. only owned one real Louis Vuitton bag, and it was gifted to me some years ago. Like, I, I didn't even have Philip, And it was a cousin that bought me one. And I liked it. I just didn't carry it enough, so I gave it away. But I liked it. Yep. So... Here's the strap. Like I said, I will. I know for myself, I'm not going to be toting this anytime soon. So I'm just going to put everything back in this original packaging. And yeah, I know most women get their bag and they just want to start toting it, toting it, toting it. And also, I will have to the side the actual screenshots of the real Louis Vuitton bags because if I didn't say this is a replica bag, I'm pretty sure y'all didn't guess it. And how it looked 
and I will have this bag a screenshot of how it looked and the price. But you will be receiving 10% off by using my discount code Alicia, A L I S H A, in the description box. This is your course, your little lock, your standard lock and key that you will be putting on your bag. And this is the little holster that it'll go on. I know I'm not saying it right because it's not a holster, but that's your little ID. I'll say your identification strap if that's what you would prefer to call it. Now, the quality of this bag, I can say I like. I'm going to come closer and give y'all a close-up. The only kind that I had, because the way that it initially came, it was folded in the middle. So it gave a crease on both sides. But no worries, y'all. No worries, and I'm going to tell y'all why. Of course, you get your little side straps when you do get ready. And I took the plastic off of one side just to look at it. But when you do get ready to put your straps on, that was all the straps. Of course, when you get ready to put your little lock and key on, there go your little zipper. The zipper is really functional. It's not one of them hard zippers that you got to try to fight or play with. On the inside of the bag, of course, you get your little zipper part. This zipper, easy zipper. It's not hard to zip or unzip. I had it unzipped already because I was looking at it, of course. It's a really good quality on it. And the material itself is really good. You get your little logo. The inside of the bag is a lot of space in this baby. You get a whole lot of room in here. It doesn't have that, like that fake shine that you see some replica bags have. It feels really nice to touch. The smell of it. It doesn't smell like, it doesn't have that fake leather smell. And it doesn't smell like a cheap bag. It doesn't. Now, what I like to do, because like I, for me, the only down with this bag is because, of course, the way that it was packaged, it was folded like this. So it has that crease on both sides. For me, what I do to get the crease out, because I have ordered bags, not necessarily replica name brand bags, but just bags. I can get a bag from New York and Company. Any place that I get a bag that'll be shipped, depending on if it's a duffel style bag like this or if it's flat. If it's flat, of course, I don't get a crease. But if it's a duffel size bag, I always get a crease. And it just happens. But what I like to do, what I like to do, because it is summertime, so I will not be wearing, I still wear joggers to lounge around the house, but for the most part, I'm not going to be wearing joggers and sweaters. I don't like to stuff my bag. Let me show you. I'm doing. I don't like to stuff my bags with paper. I know some people will and some people do. Even if it comes with the plastic I, or the paper, I don't use it. I'll get like a hoodie, jogger, stuff like that, any type of cloth material. And that's what I like to stuff mine with. And it'll maintain the shape and it will knock out, you know, it's going to, because it's the way that it's going to sit. I'm going to have it out on display, and I just push it all the way down. So it will knock out that hump. And then also what I like to do, and I do this with all of my bags, um, whether I get them from Walmart, if I get them from City Trans, it's fashion, if I get them from TJ Maxx, I always get two downy cloths. I don't care what brand, but just fabric cloths, and I always put them inside of my bags. That's going to be on display. And I always stuff them with some type of cloth clothing. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be an old hand towel that you're not using. It's what I do until I get ready to use it. Because like I said, I'm not one of those big coat kind of girl. I don't always carry around bags. But when I do want to wear a bag, I want it to have a shape. I don't want it to be all misshaped and or dented in. And I want it to have a fresh scent when I open it pack stuff up sometimes it doesn't i don't all right you guys so that is it for this portion of the video if y'all are interested please make sure that um y'all go check out their website check out their ig and all the other websites that they have if you're interested in purchasing a bag make sure you use my discount code alicia and you will get 10 percent off y'all seeing the prices floating around on the screen and i also will have 
all of their links in the description box below. If y'all follow me on IG, I already done linked this bag on their site. And I also linked everything else. They will send you right to them. Customer service is incredible. They get back to you real quick on IG and they get back real quick to you on email. <laughs> you do not have to worry about it. Um, they're really nice and customer service is on point. So just let them know that I sent you guys. Make sure y'all use that discount code. Get them savings because we all want to get some savings. And y'all will see some more stuff that I will be ordering from them myself. And I will be bringing it to you. And you never know. I might order some stuff and want to do a giveaway. Make sure y'all are subscribed to me. All of my social media links will be in the description box as well. And y'all stay tuned for the next portion of this video. Yes, I did go back grocery shopping. Y'all will see why and y'all will see what I bought. So I'll see y'all later. Love y'all. What's up, y'all? I just got finished doing this review on my bag. So if y'all stay tuned, y'all saying that. Now I gotta check on my little one. Oh, real? Hey, yeah. I still have to finish up in his room. Oh, I don't know. I, can you get that paper and stuff up? That's what came out that box. Yeah, so I still gotta finish. I'm gonna show y'all how I got his room laid up. He was in there vacuuming his floor, and I guess he just stopped. I don't know. Let me show y'all Renate's room right quick. Her room is not done. Did Renate call you? I told her to call you. She said she was off. I told her I just I was still re recording my video. Right, well, let me show y'all her room right quick. She is not done yet at all, but she did paint in here. She painted it white, and she's not done painting yet. She still have to finish painting up there and some more other spots. She did all of this yesterday, and she worked yesterday. So she came in from work and painted but she's still in the process of painting. Um, Deontay still have, well, he was actually coming back to, well, I don't even think he's gonna get his Becky Lynch stuff. I don't know what he's gonna do with it, but he still got his jersey and stuff in here. I'm pretty sure he didn't wanna bring his Becky Lynch stuff, but yeah, that would have been a, a problem piece. <laughs> but she got some of her stuff, in, the rest of her stuff in here. It's a few more things that she still have in fillet room, but she's gonna organize all her makeup on that stand. Um, my brother is coming to get the refrigerator that he bought from Deontay. Deontay still got the rest of his books. Deontay, excuse me, she gonna put all her stuff up. That's my fan. Yeah, she came and got it. She will be putting up her rack and her TV will go on her rack. She got a rug for her floor. She got two rugs actually. And I'll show y'all the rest, but she still have to finish laying the rest of her towel down. So I'm not gonna show y'all her towel until she's done. Um, and then she put that stand together. So that'll be her nighttime stand. Talia had gave her this comforter that she had from her apartment. So she got the whole white, gray, and pink thing like I had in my room. Her other blankets, I gave her that pink blanket. So I said she still got to finish painting. And she will be putting up. Y'all remember when we went to, uh, what was that? TJ Maxx? And she had got her pink, that little wall art thing. She will be putting that up right there. And then she's going to move her softball banner. But I'm not sure where she's going to put her softball banner at yet. So we'll see. And then she got this area rug too. So she got three different area rugs in here. Um, she got her curtains up. And she's going to get her some more blinds. Yeah, she's going to get her another set of blinds to go up. So she's been working. She had to go I've mama. I've been working just about turning my back door and my trim on my wall. And this door and that door. Okay, Mama said she did the back, she painted the back door. She did some trimming on the wall. She said she did this closet door, and she did the front door, right? Yeah. She said that's what she been in here doing. And and then Alicia, uh huh. And then Alicia, she really didn't have too too much to do in her room, but she put this stand together. I know. I know. I'm just saying. I just got finished telling them that with Rante. And I think Rante want to get her pink rug like this so she can have her pink to tie in with everything. She want to get her a desk like the one Alicia got. And I think that's the desk she was trying to get, but she picked up the wrong one. And I told her if she needed help, she should have just asked. Because I really do think she split one of her little side things. 
it can still be fixed. My brother would just have to put in another drill hole. She won't be able to use the hole that it came with. He would have to drill her another hole. And I told her, if you all, if you need something, just ask because we can't read your mind. Y'all know this is the dresser I had in my room. Alicia took. I had this dresser in my room when we first moved into the house, and then I gave it to Alicia. And Alicia gave it back. But I left, and y'all took it out. Anyway, she went to college, so I think she's going to just do a DIY on this dresser with the mirror. And then, like Alicia said, she's not finished with all her stuff. Y'all remember, if y'all was with me today, Rayante was taking this down. When we went to her dorm room, she put it back up, and then she got her mirror. All of us got one of these mirrors. Me and Rayante just got the darker brown, and then she got the lighter tan. My brother put this up for her, and then she got her lights up. But like she said, she's not finished yet. Y'all see Savannah follow me in here. <laughs> yeah. Child, I don't know, but she's been licking me for the last couple of days. Hey, bye. Go with Savannah. I mean, go with mom. <laughs> bye, Savannah. Yeah, they wash. Come on. That's who wash. Your shoes. Oh, thank you. And then everything else. Y'all already seen how we got the room. Um, I'm still getting some... Mama said she wiped down the wall. Okay, well, I was saying about the sofa covers first. We just trying to see which one would be cheaper to do because, and it's not just because we don't be in here like that, but the kids, Rayante and Alicia be at work all day. On the days they off, they usually laying down. Philip be in his room. Talia's not here. Dante's not here. And I'll be in my room either recording a video, uploading a video, editing a video, answering emails back, still trying to judge, judge, juggle, but trying to figure out the next video I'm going to put up. Cause, and like I tell mom, I think they think that a video just appear <laughs> and it's like videos don't just put themselves up. If I'm going to have content, I got to record the content, edit the content and put the content up. And if they come in my room and I'm sitting on my bed and I got the computer in front of me, they think I'm just looking at a video. I'm working because I don't watch videos from my computer. I'm working, trying to add music, trying to talk to companies about collaboration. And still trying to find another job in the meantime, you know. So it's like I still have a lot to do. And then when I tell call and she need me to run her to the store when she get off of work, or Alicia getting off and need me to run her to the store, and or Talia's calling asking how she cooked this or how you cook that, and then she's asking me for advice on certain things, where to put where in her house, or if I'm doing a company review and it got to be quiet, it's like I can't get the house quiet. Like the house will be completely quiet. But as soon as I get ready to like today, I had to do the Julia bags. I had to have that video up. I had to have that up today. So it's like I was trying to do it and Philip was in his room playing his video game. And it's like his video, his music got louder. And then Alicia came in my room because she didn't know that's what I was about to do. She was asleep all morning. Because she worked a double yesterday. So when she came in the room, I was just about to start editing the video. And then my mama was painting and wiping down the door. It's like I'm trying to record and it's quiet. And all you hear is a brush, a paintbrush. So I was like, <laughs> and some people tell me, record your videos at night when people sleep. At nighttime, when everybody sleep, I want to be in my bed watching TV. I'm not trying to have a face full of makeup or be dressed from the top up and then I'm finished the video and then I have to wrap my hair up, wash my face again, change my clothes. I'm trying to sit down and chill. And I'm like, okay, well I'm gonna get up early in the morning and do it. And I do that, but either somebody gotta be at work or I gotta go run to the store or Philip will wake up or Talia's calling or it's always something. So it's like, and I do everything from my phone. I record from my phone, I edit from my phone. So I don't have a camera that I'm doing this from because I don't like recording from a camera. I love recording from my phone. I love the quality. So it's like you can only be one person doing one thing at a time. So when 10 things is hitting you at one time, you got to prioritize. I'm not trying to stress myself out. And the kids moving. Like I said, the kids moving out. Deontay still have a few more things left to move. He moved some yesterday, some the other day. Talia got all of her stuff out. Rante is steady moving her stuff, but I still have to finish Philip's room. And Mama can tell you, am I lying? Huh? She's, 
Cause like I see. I don't bother nobody unless I need her to fix something for me. I don't bother nobody. I stay in my own home. You know, it's like. I have to work. Like, I have to work. If I'm going to get paid to pay my bills, I have to work. Because I can't rely on anybody to pay my bills for me. It's just like, if with me working from home a certain amount of time in the day, I'm working from home. And my days off are days that I schedule off until the next day. I clock back in. That's how I have to do. Because if not, I'm always doing something. And then, like I said, I'm still not even finished with Philip's room. I'm done with his decorating. But I still have to get his clothes put back in the closet. I got to get his clothes put back in his dresser. Um, I got to get all of his decor put back on his wall from when we had to take stuff off his wall from when COVID hit and everybody had to move back home. So, and that's what I was telling Riri. Like, she's decorating her room and she want me to help her do her decorations. But I'm like, I still got to finish Philip's stuff that I had to take down because the whole house was invaded. <laughs> And now they back in their own space. Deontay in his space. Talia's in her space. Ruby in her space. And I'm still playing catch up with Philip. Like, and then I still had to have some of Philip's stuff in my room. Um, so I had to take Philip's stuff out of my room. And I still got to finish putting my room together. So it's like, it always happened that way. Even if I go grocery shopping. I'm grocery shopping all day. I come home. I do a haul. Do the vlog. Put the stuff up. And everybody can sit down and eat. And I'm still editing the video that got to go up for you guys to see. And they sit down eating or watching TV. So when I'm finally done and I take my shower and I sit on my bed, it's like I'm bombarded. Why are you not talking to me? Why are you not in here? Why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that? Because I'm tired. Like, I'm, I'm tired. So people ain't going to ever get it. They're not going to ever see it your way. They, they only able to see it their way. And it's okay. It is what it is. I accept it. I just do what I can when I can. I realize that I'm one person and I can only be that. I don't ask no questions. Why you come in here? I don't ask nothing. I say my own time. So that um, meant. So that don't mean. But I didn't say come down my mouth that y'all don't be in here because when I get time here, I go in my room because I get up early. I be watching. I be watching YouTube. I be watching TV. I don't bother nobody. I don't bother nobody. I don't be that. I, I just ask questions when I need you to help me or do something else. Or buy me some information. Or then that. I'm gonna, I need them to help me fix the TV or something wrong with my phone. I don't bother them. Y'all heard, Mom? Mom said she don't bother nobody. She said she don't bother nobody. She don't ask Unless no questions. Unless she have to. Mama say she stay in home zone. What you say you be watching? I be watching YouTube. Yeah, I watch something on TV. Mm-hmm. That's what she be doing. That's what I be doing. Or either I be doing something outside or doing something in here or doing something in my room or doing something in the kitchen. I find something to do. But I just don't sit down all day. I don't want nobody to be saying, oh, that's all she do, Chip. I don't know that. That ain't what I do. When I find something to do, I do. Even if I got to take curtains down to, to rinse them out. And I wipe down stuff. I change around my room when I need to. I change around my clothes. When I get bored, that's when I do something. If I had to go outside and do it, it's too hot. But that's my version. Mama said that's a version. But I be telling them, I say, I think your mama recording. They still go back there. But when they don't want to be bought, they be in my room. Yeah, my room. That's why I don't go in there. So that's my version. Mama said that's a version. Yeah, because somebody will be on there. That's the same as I do all that. <clears throat> no, but what I do don't have nothing to do with what y'all do. Cause I'm like I say, I'm the one signed up to do YouTube. No, I'm they did somebody on that that don't really proud of that thing. That they, mm -hmm. they got you doing all that. And they ain't doing it. You know how some people 
I was telling y'all, wasn't I telling y'all, I'm going to clarify, like, Mama clarify, I'm going to clarify. I didn't say anything that anybody do or don't do or say. What I said was, y'all have not been seeing me much on camera vlogging because I've been busy trying to get the kids moved into their own places. Briante moved from out of Philip room because y'all know what happened with COVID. We, everybody was kind of in one area because everybody hadn't had to come back home. But now that everybody is back in their own place and in their own apartments and Deontay's on, you know, they all gone. It's still stuff that I have to finish doing. And that's all I was saying. I was, you know, I wasn't saying anything else. I was just saying that I'm tired. Like my body is still tired. Honestly, from when we took the trip to go take Alicia to get her stuff. And that was a month ago. I'm still tired from that. Like that trip drained me because it was steaming hot that day. We was there all day packing her stuff up and I had to drive home. And then y'all know right after that, it was like Talia moved her stuff here. So I had to move Philip's stuff out. So like these last three months for everybody, just like y'all, if y'all had kids that had to move back home, it was crazy because the stuff that Philip, because y'all know I just finished putting Philip room together in what, March? So like from, I spent February and March putting the filler room together and then the end of March came and I had to take all his stuff out to make room for the kids so it was like February March April May and June I spent moving and rearranging and that's the truth no lie y'all can go back and look at the videos and it's like my body is tired like I'm tired of moving stuff I feel like this has been the longest move ever because I had to move stuff from filler room to my room my room to his room this room to that room stuff in the closet stuff in the storage um it, it's just been crazy so it's like now we at the end of june and everybody finally in their own space and i'm still having to move philip stuff back in his room so i'm like after this move like i told i told the kids Rante said by next summer she want to move so i'm like when she moves she gonna move her stuff we she get rent her you all she moving all her stuff at one time and she already had asked Jordan if he can help her. Him and my brother are going to help her move her stuff to Florida. I'm not Florida, to Texas. We're going to file in the call. And that's going to be it. She'll turn the U-Haul in there. We're going to come back. And that's it. That's that's I'm, that's a wrap. When me and Jordan do get married and we move wherever we're going to be, it's going to be one move and it's going to be a wrap. That's why I'm not buying no extra stuff. Because Renate said she's going to buy a lot of her stuff while she's here and move it at one time. I'm not doing that. We're going to buy what we're going to buy when we get what we're going to be. Because I'm not moving all that extra stuff. I'm just going to move clothes only that I can fit and I'm going to take. And that Philip can fit and he's going to take. What he can't fit going to my brother, what he's not going to take, it's going to be a wrap. Because I'm just, I learned. Mm -mm. I'm going to be a minimal, a very minimalist. Um, but like we said, because I know I had a lot of people asking if mama was moving when I moved. No, because mama's in her house. Like, why would mama move? She's not going to sell her house or rent her house. Like mama said, she's in her house. And we was talking, what was that the other day? When we were talking with Alicia and Deontay. And y'all know my stepdad passed away. And I told my mom, if he was still living and he was here, my mama would be in her home with her husband. But that he's gone, you know, God called him home. So my mom is here because she came back here. When my stepdad got sick, my mom moved back here to take care of my grandmother until she passed. But if my stepdad was still alive, my mom would be in the house with my stepdad. So like she said, she's not going to move and leave and go relocate and be somewhere else because this is her home. You know, this is this is her home. <laughs> so, you know, um, and am I still going to be here for my mama? Of course, me and him going to be here for my mama. Like, it, it's not a, oh, was she leaving and not going to be here? My mom doctor's appointments. Oh, well, every six months. They have her heart doctor and stuff. All of her doctors have her at every six months. When her appointments come, we will be here to do everything we got to do. Like any and everything my mama need and got to do, we're going to be here. We're going to be about four and a half, five hours from my mama. That's a, that's a hop in the car in a few hours you here. So it's not like we're going to be on the other side of the world. We're not going to be on the other side of the country or nothing. We don't have to take a plane to get to her. You put gas in the car and you go. It's, it's that simple. We are always going to be near our children. Period. And near our parents. Um, 
it's still kind of in the air because we may move here. We may live in Mississippi. We just won't be in my city that I'm in now. So we may get us a house and still be in Mississippi. So all of that stuff is still in the air. But my mother is going to be in her home, which is this home, which is our home. <laughs> so we are not selling this home, renting this home. We're going to be in our home. Um, but I do understand why people ask, but my mom is doing well. She's doing so much better from where she was, what, three years ago to where my mom couldn't do on her own. We got to her to where she is now. And my mom is still young. She's not old. My mom is still young. My mama can get around. My mama can still do. My mama do on her own. My mama can still lift, pull on stuff. She paint. She still cook, cut grass, cut grass, mow the lawn, whatever y'all want to call it. My mama still do yard work. A lot of stuff she can't do that she used to do, but my mama still do everything. Like, my mama do 90% of the things on her own to 95% of the things on her own. So it's probably just 5% of things that she can't do that we do. And it's still going to get done and we're still going to do it. My brother still lives here. My brother's just a minute, two minutes away from my mama. Um, so, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So... Hopefully that answered those questions because I those are questions that I get asked often. <laughs> um, yeah, I get those I get those questions asked often. So I'm just answering them now, so I won't have to answer them no more. And if anybody still asks, that means they didn't watch this video. Make sure y'all go over to my other channel and check out the haul because the haul will be over there. Um, and the last haul I put up, I accidentally deleted. But y'all will see the haul, so y'all please go over on my other channel. Link is in the description box below. Check that haul out. And yeah. well, we will see y'all later. Y'all have a great day. Bless.